Between the 1st of October and the 1st of February, the pheasant shooting season, on farmland and in woodland across the countryside, you'll find groups of people out for a day's driven game shooting. Small syndicates such as this one will rent ground and carry out work all year round to provide just a few shooting days every year. Across the United Kingdom, shooting is involved in the management and conservation of two-thirds of all rural land. No longer the preserve of the landed gentry, game shooting is accessible to all. I've been on lots of different shooting days, on, on lots of different shoots. I've been on a shoot when there's been a duke there, and on the same shoot there's been somebody who worked in a supermarket stacking the shelves. You get everybody. It's everybody and anybody could be out in a shooting field. We're going to kick off. It's 18 to stand first. We'll be doing lapping and then we'll do gypsy lane. No ground game, gentlemen, under any conditions, no matter what it is. And let's see sky behind your battles, please. I don't want no low shooting. The driven day is well organised, beginning with a briefing which covers everything from safety to how the day will work. Before starting out, the guns each draw lots. This number tells them where they need to stand in the field and make sure that a chance of the best spot is shared out equally. Three. The guns line themselves up according to their peg number, spread out equally across the field. Ahead of them are the beaters, who are prepared to work themselves and their dogs through thick woodland and dense cover to push the birds out. Behind the guns is a third essential group, the pickers-up, who use trained dogs to find and retrieve shot birds. Pickers-up are a mixed bag of people who all absolutely adore their dogs. They're crazy about their dogs and they love working them. We stand behind the guns and we have a laugh and a joke watching the good shots and the not so good shots and we pick up the stray birds that maybe their dogs don't find bird goes into a hedgerow, say, can't find it too easily, our little dogs will go in and uh, fetch them out. It's important to everyone involved that birds are found quickly and retrieved. It's about doing the job properly. If you've got a bird that isn't hit cleanly, you don't want it to suffer. You want to get in there, pick it up and deal with it. Every bird which is fit to eat will end up on the table. Small shoots like this one will divide up the bag between them. Larger ones will sell on any surplus to a game dealer to meet an ever-growing demand for game meat as people rediscover its benefits and its flavours. In the UK, almost half a million people take part in live quarry shooting. Shooting generates £1.6 billion for the economy every year. But that's the last thing on people's minds on a shoot day. Just being out here, if you've seen everybody's face, how they're smiling, how they're enjoying it, it's the, the, whole, the whole process of it. I personally enjoy working my dogs, as a lot of other people do. Um, other people like coming and beating, other people like the shooting. It's just being part of the team and all working together and enjoying ourselves.